it says derive an expression or the expression for the closed system exergy balance. Well, here is the equation right here out of the textbook. So what we have is we say for an exergy balance for a closed system, you have the change in the exergy from initial to final state is equal to a term that looks like exergy is being transferred with heat as well as the work minus this boundary work of pushing into the environment. So the system, you want to get the useful work out of the system, but if it pushes back the environment, that's a non-useful component. So the sum of W minus this term is what we call the useful work shown here. In the previous discussion, it was WC. All right. And then we have this term right here. Well, what is sigma? Entropy generation. And so if you multiply entropy generation times T naught, it's a term that is going to be called the exergy destruction. Entropy generation, exergy destruction. So this is our exergy balance equation. Is exergy conserved? No. Exergy can be destroyed if you have sigma, if you have irreversibilities. If there is some entropy generation, there will be exergy destruction. So it's a minus for the destruction, T naught times sigma. We want to derive that. That's the goal. So what we do is we start out with our system, thinking that it's going to expand into the environment, as well as produce useful work out of the combined system plus the environment. We have the first law process, apply it for the system only. So you have the change in internal, change in kinetic, change in potential energy of our system only, equal to the sum of all the little heat transfers, or Qs, heat transfers, into our system minus this work. Now that work is the combination of the useful work and pushing back the boundary expansion against P naught. All right? So that we can substitute for that work. We also write the second law for the system. So the change in entropy of the system is equal to integral del Q over T plus sigma. If there are irreversibilities, during the process, this term will be non-zero. We multiply the second law by T naught and subtract it from the first equation or the first law, and you get this relationship right here. A lot of those terms are just the first law, but the other terms are T naught times delta S from here, right? You multiply this equation by T naught and then subtract it. So you pick up that term right here. You also pick up minus T naught over T in the integral del Q. You have that useful work minus this PV term. I, I expanded that work term. And then you have minus T naught sigma. So there's some algebra. Take this P naught V2 minus V1, move it over to the other side. All right. And now you have an expression that looks like this. Oh, this term also move over in relationship, put it right there. So what we have is we have change in U plus P naught change in V minus T naught change in S plus kinetic plus potential energy. That is simply the change in the exergy, is it not? That's our exergy change. And that's equal to this integral 1 minus T naught over T del Q minus W useful minus this term, which we name now exergy destruction. So you can write it very shorthand. Exergy balance is the change in the exergy of the system is related to exergy transfer with the Q, with the heat transfer. How do I calculate it? It's this right here, <laughs> integral 1 minus T naught over T del Q. So there is exergy transfer with heat. Analogously, was there entropy transfer with the heat transfer? There was. And th this is kind of a silly question. Was there energy transfer with the heat transfer? Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then you have right here this E sub W. Well, what was that? That's this term. It's our useful work transfer. 
And that is simply one-to-one -one a work transfer out of the combined system. That's what can be used to, as the book describes, raise a weight in, in a gravitational field or turn the shaft of electric generator or do something, very mechanical work. And then E sub D is the extra D destruction, and it's equal to T naught times sigma, the entropy generation. So there's our exergy balance equation. All right.